in. This is Alan Neuschwander for Mason County Press with The Scoop. It's brought to you today by West Shore Bank and Benton Baker Ford. Joined today by a couple of special guests from the Mason County Family Affair, the co-chairs Angie Taylor and Sheriff Kim Cole. How are you both doing today? Great. It's a beautiful sunshine day in Scottville and Family Affairs right around the corner. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us. And um, so Family Affairs coming up here in a couple of weeks. Tell us first off, when is it this year? This year, the Family Affair is Saturday, March 13th. Um, it is a special year because, as many of you know, last year we had to make the very hard decision, Sheriff Cole and I, to not have the event due to the onset of COVID. So this year we are doing it at Mason County Central Schools again. It's our host site at our middle school, but it will be drive-through style. We will be entering on Johnson, going through the middle school campus, and just have a lot of exciting stuff planned for the drive-through event on Saturday, March 13th. And talk a little bit more about the drive-through event. I mean, how exactly does that work? So just kind of walk me through. If I drive through with my family, what can I expect? What you can expect is, first of all, to see all of our great law enforcement from the area in our local Scottville Fire Department directing traffic in from East and West Johnson Road. You'll enter our campus and be split into two lanes of traffic in which you'll be then greeted by our Family Affair Committee who will give you an awesome Family Affair goodie bag filled with all kinds of things you would have gotten in a normal walkthrough from our booth participants. And then we are also partnering with Feeding America this year. So we will be giving out food to the first 300, 400 cars that come through. Great. Talk a little bit, Kim. I mean, how many years have we been doing this now? Well, it's well into 20 plus, 25 plus 29, years. 29, but I'm technically kind of 30. Yeah, so 29 <laughs> years. I've been, I've been so fortunate to be part of the committee since I've been in office for eight years now, into my ninth year, and I get to be part of a lot of really neat organizations and groups. And I got to tell you, the Family Affair Committee, and you could tell by Miss Angie Spark, they're a high energy group of folks. They smile all the time, and they have the best. They got the best hearts and the best uh, in mind and in, 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 their, in their minds for our community. And I'm just, I'm so fortunate to be able to be part of this group of people. And Miss Angie kind of drives the ship and everybody else uh, picks up her spirit and smile. And it's just a great energetic group to be part of. A lot of works went into this and we would certainly hope the community would take advantage of it and, and come on out and join us on, um, on Saturday, Absolutely. Saturday the 13th. And can you explain this? Why is this so important for the community? I mean, you always get a lot of people that turn out. This is an event that people look forward to all year long. And just explain the kind of the, the meaning behind it and why it's so special. Why it's actually so special and giving a little bit of history is it is sponsored mainly by the Children's Trust Fund of Michigan, which its main mission is prevention of child abuse and neglect. So it's really important as a community, surrounding communities, to come together to support healthy families and with the mission of preventing child abuse and neglect. So a lot of valuable information is in those bags besides those fun family events, our activities, that really can connect you and make connections to help your family throughout the year. Um, so the real importance of our passion and my own passion is really just having healthy communities and healthy families. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's very important. And real quick, Angie, before you hand the microphone back over to Kim, I know he said he's been involved about eight or nine years. How long have you been at the helm? I have been able to do every single year, not as a chair, but when I was um, first involved, it was a runner. It was located, it actually rotated in the different communities and then was at our middle school and then moved to our high school. And then I've been in the chair position just the last 10 years, I think it's been. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I'm really excited about that. And I have a great committee. Like um, Sheriff Cole said, we are passionate. We kick off in November, we meet from November on and the passion behind this group of making sure this event happened, even if it was drive through style, was evident. And we are all here today at Scottville Optimus. It is busy inside. And people's creativity from the different businesses that have dropped off. Mason County Library just unloaded 800 brand new books and craft activity mm -hmm. kits. West Michigan Community Mental Health just dropped off some stuff. Oakview Medical Care. Uh, Mason County Central Schools, the Foundation, Mason County Foundation. I mean, the knit list goes on and on. And can't wait for you guys to bring the camera in and take a sneak peek around and see all the busy and creativity behind what will be going in those goodie bags this year. Absolutely. How many businesses are participating this year? We have about 27 participants. Normally, we are at about 65. Mm -hmm. yep. um, we didn't know what to expect this year. And um, we are more than excited, especially with that um, partnership, too, with Feeding America bringing in the fifth. 15,000 pounds of food for that event, which equates to about three to 400 um, bags of food give, being given out. Sure. And what's the theme this year? 
Kindness is contagious. It, um, believe it or not, we had set that theme before COVID and now it just seems even more appropriate to continue with the theme we had set for last year. Um, but I must do the disclaimer, we did not know COVID was coming and we had set that <laughs> theme prior to. Yep. And you're wearing the shirt today to spread kindness as well. That's a actually, perfect. Yes, we just need to keep smiling. We can all get through this and just remember our children and families count on us in our communities. Right. And one great thing about this event too is completely free. There's no cost to attend or to do the drive through event at all. Absolutely not. Completely free. Um, sponsors and also the Children's Trust Fund of um, Michigan and also our Department of Health and Human Services in both Oceana, Lake and Mason contribute to the event. Good. All right. Is there anything else that we should add before we wrap up today? No, just make sure to come out and see us on Saturday, March 13th. The event is from 10 to 2. And remember, keep your smile on because we'll be smiling waiting for you. Excellent. Thank you. Great. Thank Thanks you. a lot, Sheriff. Miss Angie, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, I'm Alan Neuschwander for Mason County Press with The Scoop. As always, it's brought to you today by West Shore Bank and Bettenbaker Ford.